Hello PMC. Before starting the session, I will introduce myself. My name is Nutan Kumar. Uh, I did my PGDYT post graduation diploma in yoga therapy and MSc yoga. From last two years, I am teaching yoga. Now we are going to do pranayama session. Now we will start our pranayama session with the pranayama mantra. We will adopt namaskara mudra. Pranasyedam vasit sarvam Tridiveyat pratishtitam Yat krupatamaham vande Samapraptam na chalayet Now without opening your eyes, slowly we'll drop the hands. Feel the beautiful vibrations of the prayer from our toes to head. Now slowly with a few blinks, slowly we'll open the eyes. Now before starting pranayama session, I will give introduction about the pranayama. What is pranayama? Why you have to do pranayama? What is the benefits of doing pranayama? Okay. Pranayama. The word pranayama is the combination of two words. Prana plus ayama is equal to pranayama. When we say the person is alive, when the prana is there, we can say the person is alive. When we say the prana is not there, the person is dead. There is a very strong connection between breathing and prana. How we can check the prana is there or not means uh, we can keep uh, cotton near the nostrils of the person. We can tell prana is there or not. Suppose the people who are died will keep the cotton near the nostrils. Means uh, that cotton will not go away. It will not move. Means we will say that person is dead. Means breathing is not there. That air is prana. That prana is gone because of that. We are deciding that uh, person is dead and we will keep the cotton inside the nostril of the person and because of that, that air is moving, that cotton will come out. We can say that breath is, breathing process is running and that air called prana is moving. That's why the person is alive. Okay. And now we will go for ayama. Ayama means increasing, expanding and controlling of the breath. And uh, in our head, uh, three things has very strong connection which are very related to each other. One is mind and one is uh, our eyeball movement and one is our breathing. If one move, other two also moves. One will stop, other two also stop. Example like um, if mind uh, will move from thought to thought, eyeball also move and breath also moves. Suppose if breath stop, eyeball movement stop and mind also stops like that. Okay. This is the importance of pranayama and uh, one thing is uh, uh, we can say the condition of the prana in different lifestyle situations. See when you wake up in the morning, our uh, prana is uh, relaxed, our body is relaxed, our mind is calmed down. Why means night time you slept, you have enough rest in the body. That's why when you check that time, your respiratory rate is normal and your heart rate is normal. When you are in stress and tension, that time your respiratory rate is very high. That time it will show difference. Okay, now we will go for pranayama practice. In pranayama practice, first we will go for kapalabhati. First pranayama, this kapalabhati is a kriya and that it is also a pranayama. Before doing the pranayama, I will tell the contraindications of the pranayama. What are the contraindications of the pranayama means before doing any pranayama first you should know the contraindications. Who has to do, who should not do. Uh, what are the contraindications of this pranayama means people have high BP, heart disease, slip disc, hernia, vertigo, spondylosis, severe low back pain, gastric ulcer, women's during menses and advanced pregnancy have to avoid this kapalabhati pranayama. And uh, when we tell about benefits of this pranayama. This pranayama is very good for asthmatic and respiratory disorders. And this pranayama is very good for preparatory practice for the meditation. When you do continuous practice of uh, this Kapalabhati pranayama, after doing pranayama, we will we'll stay in thoughtless stage. That is called Kevala Kumbhaka. By doing this pranayama, after some times, you are able to control the breath also. So that you will control the mind. And by doing this pranayama, mind after doing all pranayamas, mind will go to 60 to 80 percent peaceful stage so that easily we can sit in meditation, we can do deep meditation, we can have very good experience in meditation. Okay, now we'll do how to do this Kapalabhati pranayama. In Kapalabhati pranayama, first beginners, we have to do like this. This is called single nostril Kapalabhati. 
will do 20 to 40 strokes. In this pranayama, we are doing active exhalation followed by the passive inhalation. We will do only exhalation. We will not think about inhalation. We will not worry about inhalation. Inhalation happens naturally on its own. Just see the demonstration. Single nostril kapalabhati, 20 to 40 strokes. We will close the right nostril with the thumb. Open the left nostril. Active exhalation by flapping the abdominal movements followed by the passive inhalation. After finishing, single nostril slowly will drop the hand, relax for a few seconds and now after finishing, single nostril will go for another nostril, single, first we did left, now we will do right, 20 to 60 strokes. After finishing 20 to 60 strokes, relax for a few seconds. After relaxing, now we'll go for alternate nostril kapalabhati. Alternate means one after the other. 22, first round we did 20 to 40 strokes, second round 20 to 60 strokes, now we'll do 20 to 80 strokes per minute. And relax for a few seconds. After relaxing, we'll slowly open the eyes. In the last stage, first we finished single nostril kapalabhati with left nostril. And second stage, we did single nostril kapalabhati with right nostril. And in the third stage, we did alternate nostril one after the other. And in the fourth stage, we are doing both nostril kapalabhati. And when you are doing kapalabhati, in the starting beginners, uh, what will happen when your people are practicing, when you are doing forceful exhalation, only abdomen has to move. And when you are doing exhalation, abdomen has to go inside, but it comes outside. Means in the starting, it is like that, but when you are doing regular practice, that will be rectified slowly. But you should check whether abdomen is moving or not. Abdomen is moving forward or backward. And while doing, you have to be, means when you are doing exhalation, chest also moves, shoulder also moves and we have to see only abdomen should move you should be conscious about that one now we'll do both nostril kapalabhati 20 to 100 strokes you can keep the hand on the abdomen just to feel whether the abdomen is moving properly or not do not press the hand just keep the on the abdomen and just feel After some time, you can remove the hand. After
after finishing slowly we'll stop the practice we will feel the natural cessation of the breath and you will feel the kevala kumbhaka thoughtless stage and you will feel the deep rest and freshness in your mind and you will observe the body and observe the breath and relax for a few seconds after relaxing slowly open the eyes okay. we will go for our next two pranayama first pranayama kapalabhati finish next two pranayama is nadi shuddhi and this is the nadi shuddhi in the name only we can tell the meaning nadi means invisible energy center of the body shuddhi means cleansing totally we have 72000 nadis are there in the body this 72000 nadis are the invisible energy centers which supply energy to all parts of the body these are invisible and this all nadis will meet at one point in our brumaja that is where our agna chakra is there in between the center of the eyebrows okay and uh, this nadi shuddhi pranayama is a simple and easy pranayama in yoga which anyone can do when you go for benefits of this pranayama this pranayama is uh, lowers the level of stress and anxiety by harmonizing the pranas and uh, this pranayama it, it induces tranquility and improves the clarity of thought and concentration and uh, mm, this pranayama it is a good preparatory practice for the meditation and by doing this pranayama we are activating our 72000 nadis so that brain also will be sharp and active and this pranayama is very good for so many other diseases like uh, uh, diabetes hypertension obesity and uh, one, one more thing is because of stress and tension some people having not sleep in the night and this pranayama is very important and specific pranayama for insomnia also okay now we'll go to the practice first we'll close the right nostril with the thumb first slowly and completely exhale through the left nostril and then slowly and deeply inhale through the same left nostril and close the left nostril with the ring finger open the right nostril now slowly and completely exhale through the right nostril now slowly and deeply inhale through the same right nostril now close the right nostril with the thumb open the left nostril then slowly exhale through the left nostril this is one down like this we'll continue for nine rounds generally we will do this mistake while closing the nostril we will push the no nose like this you should not push and when you close the ear your nostril is opening and when you close ear your nostril is open we are thinking we are closing but here air is going that's why you have to close in the center of the nostrils so that air will not go inside how much you slowly you do that much it is good when you are doing inhalation you have to supply the full air and prana to the brain lungs and abdomen when you exhale you have to release the air from abdomen through lungs through mouth outside completely
while doing pranayama we have to do only pranayama try not to move the any part of the body only breathing process should happen after finishing nine downs slowly will stop the practice release the mudra and relax for a few seconds feel the changes in the whole body from the toes to head observe the whole body and observe the breath and relax for a few seconds after relaxing slowly open the eyes we'll go for another pranayama this is called cooling pranayama cooling pranayama in the name only is there by doing this pranayama we can keep the body cool and this pranayama has some contraindications those have low bp sore throat bronchitis missing teeth artificial teeth dentures recent any teeth surgery they have to avoid this pranayama this pranayama benefits of this pranayama is uh, it it will activate some energy centers in the brain and this pranayama helps to keep the mind calm and cool generally we have big when you have stress and tension means mind is not calm down and not cool by doing this pranayama we can keep the body mind and calm and cool okay and this pranayama for uh, actually those who are doing practicing yoga and meditation they have to follow the food also properly means if you eat heavily uh, it will disturb for the practice you have to maintain the gap for yoga and you have to maintain in meditation you will get sleep like that means you have to take proper uh, food like sattvic food without onion and garlic like so that we can practice on the meditation and yoga properly okay and uh, this pranayama help us to control the thirst and hungry now we'll go for the practice of the pranayama first this is called sitali pranayama in the especially in the cold climate you have to do this pranayama very less rounds only five rounds now we'll start the practice bring the tongue out fold it vertically inhale through the crevices of the tongue close the mouth and exhale through the both nostrils like this five rounds continue after finishing five rounds slowly will stop the practice release the hands and relax for a few seconds now after relaxing slowly open the eyes now we'll go for next to pranayama in cooling pranayama this is called seet kari just see the demonstration we'll in this pranayama also we'll keep both hands in chin mudra in the first seetali we folded the tongue vertically in this pranayama we'll fold the tongue horizontally like this we'll bring the tongue out and we'll close it like this and you'll we'll inhale through the crevices of the tongue after inhalation we'll close the mouth and exhale through the both nostrils like this we'll do for 5 rounds after finishing five rounds slowly stop the practice release your mudra and relax for a few seconds after relaxing slowly open the eyes now we cooling pranayama we finished first pranayama sitali second pranayama sitkari and last pranayama in cooling pranayama is sadanta we'll keep same way hands in chin mudra we'll cleanse the both set of the teeth upper set and lower teeth and we'll keep the tongue in between the both upper and lower set of the teeth 
we will inhale through the gaps of the teeth after inhalation we will close the mouth and we will completely exhale through the both nostrils this is one round like this we will do for five rounds After finishing 5 rounds, slowly stop the practice, release the mudra, relax for a few seconds, after relaxing slowly open the eyes. We will go for next to pranayama, this is called brahmari pranayama and uh, before doing the pranayama you will know the contraindications. There is no any contraindications for this brahmari pranayama, anyone can do this pranayama. Nadi Shuddhi pranayama and brahmari pranayama does not have any contraindications. Anyone can do these two pranayamas which are simple and easy pranayamas which are the preparatory practices for meditation. Best to preparatory practices. Okay. The benefits of brahmari pranayama. This pranayama is very good for cerebral tension, nervous tension, stress, anxiety and this pranayama is good for back pain. This pranayama is very good for insomnia and this pranayama is good for brain tumor, good for tonsillitis and this is also one of the best pranayama, simple and easy pranayama in yoga which we can do and this whenever you are feeling mental tension, if you do this pranayama, immediately mind will calm down. And this is also a very good preparatory practice pranayama for meditation. We will go for the practice. Actually generally we have some, means uh, some places you will see for brahmari pranayama will keep like this and in some we will keep like this. What is that means? Uh, those who are doing this brahmari pranayama beginners will keep the hands like this. We will close the ears with the thumb, close the eyes with the first two fingers and we will inhale deeply. You have to bend the tongue and you have to touch the upper heart palate and you have to close the mouth. And after the keeping just do not worry about that one how the tongue is, it will be okay. Then I will go for the practice. I will go for uh, 9 rounds of brahmari pranayama. And when you are doing 9 rounds, keeping hands like this and after some time if you are feeling pain, you can drop the hands down like this. Just we will close the ears with the thumb and close the eyes with the first two fingers and you will inhale deeply and you will chant Nakara loudly with the same rhythm and same level. Mm. Inhale deeply. Mm. Inhale deeply. Mm. Inhale deeply. Last four more rounds. Inhale deeply. Mm. Inhale deeply. Mm. Inhale deeply. Last round. Inhale deeply. Mm. Now, slowly without opening the eyes, slowly release the mudra. We will feel the beautiful vibrations of Brahmari throughout our whole body from our toes to hand. And especially we will feel these beautiful vibrations throughout our head region and around our eye region. Feel the cool sensation around our eyeballs and relax for a few seconds. Now, slowly we relax in 
Sthitila Dandasana, slowly stretch the legs one by one, unfold your legs and separate the legs and legs apart, palms pointing backward, head resting on any side, right side, left side or back side, whichever is comfortable for you. Now observe the whole body and observe the breath and relax for a few seconds. After relaxing, slowly you will come to normal sitting position. Now we will end the session with one Omkara, three Shantis. Om Shanti 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 Now without opening your eyes, slowly we will take the both hands back. Catch hold the right hand with the left palm, feel the pulse. Inhale, expand the chest, slowly bend backward with inhalation. With exhalation, slowly bend forward and bow down to the mother earth and try to touch the forehead to the ground. And then with inhalation, slowly come up and release the hands and up the palms. Give a nice massage to the face, forehead, cheeks, chin, crown of the head, back of the head, sides of the head. Again, up the palms, give a nice massage to the whole body, chest, abdomen, shoulders, elbows, forearms, back muscles, thighs, knees, ankle joints. Again, up the palms, generate heat in between both the palms. Now place without touching the palms to the eyes, you have to place both the palms on the eyes. I mean when you touch the palms to the eyes, any dust is there, it will go in the eyes. That's why without touching the eyes, you have to make cup shape and you have to place both the palms on the eyes. Then you have to feel the warmness and darkness in your eyes. Now without opening the eyes, slowly we will release the palms. With a few blinks, with a beautiful smile on the face, slowly we will open the eyes. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity, thank you for PMC and thank you one and all. video I am telling all the specific practices regarding COVID how to improve the immunity how to improve the lung capacity how to increase our resistance power also cure the knee pain inhale stretch exhale bend for 10 counts 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We will close the right nostril with the thumb, open the left nostril, active exhalation by flapping the up-down movements followed by the passive inhalation.